Hi, I'm Vita Luca, and today we're going to be discussing Rune Factory 3 Special, specifically for the Switch. So this was a request. Thank you so much for asking for it. Um, but essentially I made a video where I reviewed and tier ranked all Rune Factory games. Um, you can check out the card above if you want to go watch that. It is a 40 minute video. I am sorry, but it is seven games. So, and we ranked them in multiple different ways. But Rune Factory 3 essentially always came last and was my least favorite out of all the games. And the reason why was because I didn't like that in the story, there was a dragon who just couldn't deal with a race. But after replaying it as an adult instead of a teenager, I realized that um, it was just a way to get your character angry so that you would fight for your love and win her back, which then would make the Sharon's Blossoms bloom. So it was part of the story and was necessary for it to happen. So it makes sense and the dragon really doesn't want to keep you apart. He just wanted to make the blossoms bloom and he knew that that's the way that it had to be done. So I don't have an issue with that. But I did say in the video that I would replay it and I would make sure that I played with the character that um, 100% was a monster and see how that goes. And that character is Karuna. Like that's the person that was planning on wooing. That's what I mean. And um, yeah. My new gripe with the game is you can't actually beat the game that way. You cannot fully pursue her without having to pursue somebody else first, which I also don't like because you should have had the opposite happen. You should have been able to show your real human form to Karuna and have her maybe be a little mad, but then accept you because she loves you, but no, 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 no. You have to go through a whole trial session to get her to even think about liking humans, which I get it. She's, she has a lot of prejudices. She's very angry from her treatment, but honestly, I think for character development, she should have been able to like put all that to the side because she loves you, the character, but no, 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 no. No, you have to reveal yourself to somebody in town first, get the mayor on the page, and then he gives you like a whole, he gives you like three tasks to go and try to get Karuna on your side. And she will still ban you from the village in your human form and in your monster form while you're doing those three tasks which I think is like insanely cruel. And I really, really, really wish that the game developers made it or whoever made the story made it that if you pursued her, you would be doing the reverse. So you would show yourself to her. Maybe she'd be a little mad, okay? But maybe she'd come around after a few days and then she would help you get those three challenges to then do for the mayor. That's what would make sense to me. That's the way that I thought it would go, but no, no. You basically, if you want to marry her, you have to pull, like string along another woman, which takes longer. So it took me like an extra two in-game weeks for like nothing. And then of course, you have to semi beat the game before you can fully beat the game. You still have to like watch all of her events after while anybody else, you can just, you can get to 10 hearts and like fly through, get married very easily. But with her, no, you have to, you have to first in, like unite the two towns together. And then that's when her events will trigger. And then you have to wait for them to trigger. And it just takes more time. It's just more annoying. And it just, it should not have gone that way. I don't know. The developers should have done better, in my opinion, with Room Factory 3. And of course, the special. All BS. I hate special. I think the special is pointless. 
if you can just buy the regular version, I would recommend just the regular version of the game because special is stupid. The special is like a completely separate game from your main game where you get everything, but you have no monsters, you have no plans, like completely different game. And I always think that they should have embedded that into the game where the request that you do should just show up as a request in your mailbox. Like that's how special should be. Special should just be you getting an extra letter to your mailbox and then you play it with that. You don't need the stupid movement of the characters and completely different world and life to what you've been living with the character that's potentially more advanced than the one that you have. It's just, it doesn't make it real, make it nice. None of that. I don't like it. I don't like special. I think it, it's a waste. I wouldn't bother to pay for extra events and whatever that happens in them. Cause I know like sometimes they do DLC for those and it's like, there's no point. There's no point. Special is stupid. Um, the nice thing is though, with this one, that if you marry one person, you get all of the events in special, which is much better than Rune Factory 4 special, where you have to marry one person, you only get their events, and then you have to pay 50,000 like Prince Princess points to get the rest. But at least you can pay the points because I made it so that I married every single bachelorette just so I'd have access to all of their special, not realizing that I could have just paid 50,000 points and gotten it. And in this game, it's like impossible to marry all of them, I would say. It, well, it's not impossible, it would be very difficult. Very, very difficult to marry all of them. And this isn't like, by marry all of them, I don't mean like you have one save file where you manage to marry all of them. No, it's like you get all of them to 10 hearts and then you go and you propose to all of them because um, your bride gets, spoiler, your bride gets kidnapped. And so to do that for every single one before you actually get married would be next to impossible. I would not bother. It would be too much work. Um, whereas in Rune Factory 4, all you got to do is just propose and then like the next day you're married. So very different, very, very different. So that's nice that you at least don't have to do the entire thing with absolutely everybody to get that bonus content. But I also think the bonus content is just stupid because you're also, you pick new names, new, new nicknames, everything. Like none of it, it falls in line with your actual gameplay. So it's just dumb. It's dumb. So you can buy Rune Factory 3 if you'd like to. It's still like a really good base game. Like the game itself and the storyline itself is great. I just wouldn't recommend marrying Karuna, which most people don't like her anyways because she comes off like a mega B word. And that's all to the story developers. And I, I don't think that she should have been that way. I think they could have done a better job with her in general. That's my review for Room Factory 3. You can buy it if you want to. It's still a great game. It's still a decent, decent game, decent storyline, especially if you haven't played it before. Like it is very nice and it was well done with like the enhancements that they made aesthetically. So it'll just be up to you if you want to spend the money. If they ever have a sale, definitely buy it, definitely play it, but just don't marry Karuna, marry anybody else. It's not about a monster marrying a human. It's about your love, enough for someone to fight a god to have them return to you. That's what it's about. But I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!